Alright, how's it going everybody? Real quick, I'm trying to wrap up the last few videos I'm going to do for Crypto, Chizzy, Season 1 or whatnot. And I'm going to upload all of those tonight. Like right after this, I want to get a few videos out of the way real quick. Basically, like, <clears throat> this season, this series of Crypto Chizzy, like, what the purpose is, it's just me sharing my thoughts on this particular subject. That's the best way for me to say that. You know, um, you just listen to what I'm saying, like, hear it, let it go in. And you, um, Sorry about that. So, okay, we're good now. Just listen to what I'm saying. Let that go into your brain and you figure it out from there. So it's just my job to just tell you what I'm thinking about it and how I, like if there's a whole, like I said, I'm a madman and I'm just sharing this strategy, you know, because it's not certain that, you know, I'll be able to do everything I want to do only because of time issues, right? Let's say it like that. But on the other hand, why should I take to the grave the greatest secrets I've seen? That would be a sin to me. Why was I given access to information other people haven't gotten access to? If I was only meant to use it for personal gain, that would be a bad energy to walk around with, you know. So that's the purpose of crypto, Chizzy. It's just telling you what I'm thinking. So real quick, uh, uh, a real quick overview of what happened. I bought three Bitcoins when they were $90 a piece in 2013. I saw the Bitcoin when it was $17 a piece. I didn't buy it until it was $90. I bought three for $90. I gave like one to a friend as a heir, and I sold the other two. He sold his, and that same year, so we didn't profit. And last summer, this is February, right now it's February. 23rd is my nephew Kiki's birthday. He's born in 2010, so I guess he's eight. And um, happy birthday. And I talked to him on the phone today, and I was back. I've been in New York for four months. You know, I told him I wasn't coming back to the summer. Back four months early. <laughs> so. Crypto, I bought into it for the first time in 2013. Bought three Bitcoins. <laughs> it was about $300 investment, less than $300. And I sold that same year. So last year, last summer, last May, last June of 2017, I saw Bitcoin was at 2000 on its way to 2500 between 2000 going up to 3000 and that's when I realized like I was on the wave and I was on the right wave and I just, I got off the wave way too early. You never get off the wave. And I got off the wave. So I negated the fact that I saw the wave coming. I got on the wave, I saw the wave coming. I knew what it was, I got on it. But I didn't 100% commit. Like I allowed other people to like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I committed a horrible atrocity to myself by listening to other people about it. I was on this at 2014, 2013, and then I fell off the wave. And I look back on that time period, that four year gap, that four years between when I bought it and sold it and to up to now. And I'm like, that entire time I was on the wave and like nobody knew. And they were just like talking major shit. So it was just crazy. Horrible time. When I look back on it, it's bittersweet time. Um, now it's a wrap. 
Now I have the strategy, I have the books on it that I'm writing, I finished writing and I'm recording and now I'm just recording freestyle videos about it and I'm recording audio about it and then I'm just leaking in all formats. I have it written, I have to type it up and publish it and then record it and then film it. And then I'm already been filming just the information that's in the book, just not in the written format, just off the dome, whatever I'm thinking about the subject. You know, so this is really just like a discussion where you can just leave comments, ask questions, and I'll be more than happy to share the information that I'm learning about it. But I've, I'm one of the losers. You know, I'm in that club of the losers. It's all the Bitcoin winners, and I'm one of the losers that got on the wave and I like, got off the wave, and so I'm one of those losers. Like, I have that story. Hey, I bought Bitcoin in 2013, $90 a piece, and I sold it the same year. Yeah, I made no money. Oh, yes. Like, I, as much as Bitcoin ever goes up, that's as much as I lost from the three shares I had. And, like, that's life for me. I have to deal with that forever. I can't listen to other people anymore, man. I have to listen to myself, listen to God, listen to my mom cut the deck. My mom didn't approve of the Bitcoin. It's all good. That's why she had me. I approve. I approve of the future. I see it coming. I know it's popping up with, you know, where the world is going technologically. We're going into the age of technosophy in the next 50 years, you know, it's a lot of technology is about to hit uh, the shores. So, the next thing I want to say, <clears throat> I stumbled across another coin. The coin is called Stronghand. I know it's like S H N D or S N H D. I think it's S H N D. Strong hand. And um, that is zero point zero 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 eight. It's like six zeros before the eight, after the zero point zero point then six consecutive zeros, then eight. So I, I typed nearly 50,000 shares in the calculator to calculate how much it would cost. 50,000 shares of a share that costs 0 0.00000008. Fifty thousand shares came up to four cents. Four cents. So the next question I asked the calculator was <laughs> How many times is four cents going to a dollar? I figured at least twenty. It was twenty five. So cool. So a hundred dollars. Calculated that. How many shares are you going to get for a hundred dollars? Hundred twenty-five million shares. Okay. Hundred twenty-five million shares. Let's say they go up to a dollar and never go up again. Ever. They never go past a dollar. Not in two years. Not in 80 years. Not in your lifetime. Not in your kid's lifetime. They just never, ever, ever go up. Has the dollar. They just stay a dollar forever. They go between 50 cents and a dollar. And you got 125 million shares. You paid a hundred dollars for them. They go up to a dollar. And never go up again. I'm not good with math people. Can you help me out? You got hundred. 25 million shares go up to a dollar
Okay, now let's go to two dollars. I guess that's safe to say by the time you go to five dollars at that profit margin, you're at a billion dollars. So at this profit margin, that, that share amount for this price, every time it goes at five dollars, is a billion dollars. By the time it hits like thirty dollars, between twenty and thirty dollars, you're gonna be sitting on like ten billion. And that's what crypto chizzy is about. It's just me sharing this madman strategy with you. As a debt, I pay back to the world for my existence. <laughs> Crypto Chizzy.